What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I got the ETS intercooler and the charge pipes on the Evo. I was also able to run a data log and Evo scan and get some base horsepower and torque numbers. I've had this full titanium private label manufacturing exhaust sitting around the garage now for a few months. I wanted to get a base data log so that I could have some horsepower and torque numbers to compare to once I got all my extras added on and got this thing retuned. I'm ready to get this thing installed on the car. Stay tuned. is the exhaust if you've watched any of my other videos i've been trying to buy all good used parts i've been trying not to buy anything new for this car the other thing that i picked up separately is this ets catalyst test pipe for the most part the guy that i got the titanium exhaust from he gave me all of the gaskets and then he also gave me all of the hardware there were a couple of things missing so i wanted to make sure i had plenty when i got this so i went ahead and ordered some extra bolts and nuts to connect the flanges with and then i ordered some extra three inch gaskets as well this should bolt straight on my only worry is is that when you start using a bunch of different aftermarket manufacturers things kind of get weird when you start to bolt up the exhaust hangers here and i think that may be what will help me to line everything up but this is supposed to be a direct bolt on to the stock system and then so is this as well so i'm hoping that everything should go on fairly easily the car does actually already have an map downpipe from the previous owner but again that's supposed to be all stock location as well the other thing that i may have an issue with right now is this thing has this little j style defouler on here for the o2 plug and then it also has a bung down at the end here for a wide band i do not have a wide band yet and i don't have a bung that will fit this right now but either way i plan on getting a wide band in the future so i'm going to go ahead and get everything on the car anyway i wanted to do some sort of sound comparison with this exhaust so what I wanted to do is just remove the stock test pipe with the catalytic converter and then put the catalyst ETS test pipe on there and just kind of see what it sounds like with the full stock exhaust but just the test pipe changed out and then I want to pull the ETS test pipe back off put the stock test pipe back on there put the cat back system on there see what it sounds like with just the cat back portion and then after that put the ETS catalyst test pipe on there to see what the full exhaust sounds like so like I said first thing that I want to try to do is get the test pipe on there so i'm going to go into the car and start taking the stock test pipe off it. ETS test pipe is fully on here. The only thing that I don't have, like I said already, is a bong for where the wide band is going to go. This is actually where the stock location for the O2 sensor is at, but from what I know about these J style defoulers, I believe this is actually where the O2 sensor gets relocated at, and then the wide band goes where the original O2 sensor would have been. I could be wrong on that, but installing this thing was really, really easy. For the stock one, you just have two nuts up front, and then you have two bolts in the back and then you have your o2 sensor obviously that you have to remove from where i showed you right here and then on the exhaust hanger you just pull it off of there for the ets test pipe for the time being i'm just going to use these these are the, actually the original bolts and nuts that were on here so i just use them together back here and then i've got a set of the new ones holding it on up here i'm not going to worry about getting a bung right now like i said i'm working on getting the wide band so i'm going to go ahead and try to crank it up it'll be obviously an exhaust leak right here but it should give me an idea of how it sounds with just the test pipe.
I'll be honest with you, I don't notice a whole lot of difference with the test pipe. The only thing that I really hear a difference with is the exhaust leak underneath here. So when I was revving it up over here, I can definitely hear it coming out from right here. It does sound a little bit deeper, but this thing is gonna sound really good once I get the cat back system on here with it. I got to do a little test with the test pipe on there. I know it's a lot of extra work to go ahead and put this thing back on there to see what it sounds like with just a cat back system. But I'm just curious. I wanna see what the difference is between just adding one thing versus just adding the other versus having everything all together. So it doesn't take a long time. It's not really that hard. Just a few bolts to take off. So I'm gonna get the ETS test pipe back off and then go ahead and get this one back on there. ETS test pipe is back off. I've got the stock one back on there. I wasn't really thinking and I just reattached everything, but I guess I really didn't have to do this end over here since I'm putting the cat back portion on there. No big deal though, just a couple of extra bolts to take out. The titanium cat back portion, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the ones with the mufflers. That is one thing with this system, the private label manufacturing, everything is titanium except for the mufflers. The mufflers are actually stainless. But I'm going to start with the back portion back here. I'm gonna get the back portion of the OEM piece off back here right there. And then I'll just work my way forward with the rest of the pieces until I get to the test pipe. <laughs>
I've got the full cat back system on here. Everything actually went on pretty smooth. The only thing that I ran into a lot of issues with is this where it mates up to the stock test pipe. These bolts, they just didn't want to go in there with the heat shielding around here. So I had to take my little pry bar and a screwdriver and just kind of bend that out. I also had to re-loosen up all the bolts everywhere so that I could adjust everything. And then once I got this piece mounted in, I was able to get everything else mounted up very, very easily. One other thing that I could not figure out is there is supposed to be some kind of mounting hardware for this right here. So the stock one is just a bolt. So I believe I just need to get a nut to match that. The OEM bolt is very, very rusty, so I'm probably just going to run to the hardware store and get a replacement. But for now, I'm really excited to hear what this thing sounds like with the OEM muffler off. I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, just give a comparison. I'll do a before and I'll do one with the test pipe on there earlier, and then I'll go ahead and do one with the new one here. tested out the cat bag system. This thing sounds really, really good. Before I found this thing, when I was searching for exhaust, I basically found like three different kinds. So one is the big style of muffler, kind of like the OEM one. It's just a little bit smaller. The other styles were this, which was kind of like a mid-range mid style. The ETS, I think, has their quiet version. It looks similar to this. And then the other style is just basically straight piped. So the ETS Extreme version, I think some of the single exit exhaust are pretty much all straight piped. But I was not looking for that kind of loudness and attention. But I do like things a little over the top, so I'm not just going to stick with the cat back. I'm going to go ahead and throw on the test pipe and I I cannot wait to see what it sounds like with this thing on there. Exhaust is fully on there. Again, I'm still gonna have the bunk right here that's gonna be the exhaust leak, but I will get a wide band here pretty soon for that. But this is the final fitment. I went ahead and tightened all of the bolts and nuts up. One other extra thing that I did is zip tied the O2 sensor wires right here. I used a couple of them. I don't know how hot this is gonna get and I don't want that plastic to melt. So if one fills me, at least I'll have possibly a backup. I did find a bolt and washer and a nut set up for the midsection right here. So that's all it is, just like that. And then I also went ahead and tightened down the clamps on the tips. So this is how it's going to look basically just like that. I am super excited to fire this thing up. Let's see what she sounds like. This is the sound I was going for. I absolutely love this. You can kind of hear the leak from where the bung is at right there, but once that's gone and I get the thing plugged up, this thing sounds amazing. It has a nice little growl to it. I, I love this. I am gonna call it quits for this video. I would like to take this thing out for a drive, but I still have the front bumper off over here. Again, I've got the exhaust leak underneath and I can't really drive this thing hard. I guess I could, but with removing the cat, it adds all that extra flow and this thing really needs to be retuned before I go and run this thing hard. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see more going on with the Evo, please, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.